Oh, hey there. You're probably wondering, how do I change my brake pads? Well, <laughs> you came to the right place. We're gonna show you today. So we're gonna be doing the back brake pads. What we're gonna do first, flip this B over, and then we're gonna take off the back wheel. We got a little quick release action right here. So we're just gonna, uh, gonna, gonna you know, take the chain off, and then get this uh, out of here. This is unrelated to the task at hand, but you can see here, these two little uh, sprockets are fricked. That's quality. That's what you get when you buy Diamondback. So just be aware, any mountain bike buyers out there. All right, so now we're ready for the uh, back brake pad. See there right here. Uh, all you're gonna need, hopefully, for this job is some tweez. So uh, we got two options right here. And then, here, give me the camera real quick, sir. There's this pin. Uh, this pin right here that holds in the brake pads. So we're gonna pinch, you can see how it's bent right there. So we're gonna pinch that to where it's straight and then pull it out from that side. And then we'll be good to put the new ones in. Please, me. Come on. Oh, you oh. There she blows, boys. So now, everything that was in here, which is just like the brake pads and the spring, should easily come out. There's one brake pad. There's Big the shoot. second one. Holy! Okay, you guys see that? I should have showed you my brakes, but yeah, that the metal. that Holy. was breaking. Like that was breaking for me. That is horrible. You do not want that. That is terrible. Now we're gonna get the new kit. This was a uh, $12.99. You can see they gave us a fresh pin, fresh pads, and a fresh spring. What we're gonna do is put the spring like that. Yeah. It's gonna. Basically, this spring mechanism is gonna push the brake pads out, so when you're not pulling the brakes in, they aren't braking. So you see that a little action right there. So basically, yeah, just put those all together and put them back in the hole. Okay, guys, so there's a little circle in here that we had to just push back, this is the piston. So basically, if your pads, your new pads are too big, you're gonna have to push that back to fit the new ones in. So Jamie, go for it. Sorry, this is hard to get a good angle. Damn, you got it. I believe in you. Is that it? I think we're gonna have to keep pushing there. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's it. All right, so we're gonna take the new pin. There's two sizes. Make sure, uh, just like check with the old one. Make sure it's the same size. Where's the old one? So this is the one that we want to use. They give you two in the kit. And then just slide it through. Make sure it goes through both brake pads and the old, uh, what do you call it, spring. So th then basically what we're gonna do is just bend it like the old one was bent so that it ensures that it will not come out whilst you are riding your bicycle. So that should be good. We might want to do it a little more. All right, once you've ensured that there's enough space between the pads to fit that big fat disc in between them, you're just gonna slide your wheel back on and uh, you should be back in business. Boy or girl, you know, gender friendly on this channel. Yeah, see, we are in boys. So there's your new pads. You're in on both sides. Just. Uh, Tighten it back up, put your wheel back on, you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, as always. <laughs>